Hello everyone, Ventra back and this time it's one of the rare complaining videos. I usually try to not complain about the game unless there's something that I feel like is seriously wrong and it's not gonna get changed anytime soon. Since GGG is usually pretty good at changing stuff, I don't see them actually changing Betrayal, sadly. And I feel like it does need to get changed again because I think the change that happened in this patch was just bad. And I'm not talking from profit perspective, I'm talking from gameplay perspective. I will go deeper into it in this video, but if you like my content, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. It helps a lot to grow the channel and to help me and I much appreciate it. But to give some context, I killed about 33, 2 Katarinas or something. A few Val Omnitex, but that doesn't matter too much for this. And I got 2 Veld Orbs in total. I killed about half of the Katarinas pre-patch, half of them post-patch. Uh, the Veld Orb drop rate is... Was 10%. It might be 20% now. I don't know if we have proper data yet. The patch note was kind of ominous, so we, we are not really sure. But that doesn't matter too much to this video. That's not what I want to rant about. The Velor is going to gain on value and that's going to make Betrayal worth farming in terms of currency per hour. But that's not the point. The problem I have with Betrayal is I feel like that the board does not matter at all. And I understand it was overcomplicated before and they wanted to remove some complexity but i feel like they just made it pointless i'm okay with moving the one big reward to ashling to katarina that's fine but all the smaller rewards or the like 50 c rewards are also gone now and there is just like nothing to make your board work towards before you wanted to have a bunch of people in intervention to get wing scarabs to be able to swap them later or whatever now it feels like you get 10 to 20 scarabs per katarina like 5 to 10 per intervention safe house just, uh, I'm gonna show you a quick comparison how much, how many scarabs you actually get in the tier 17 map. Obviously, this is like juice tier 17 map, right? But what I'm trying to say is he is hiding half of the scarabs on his filter and he got more scarabs than I saw in like 15 Katarinas the entire day of farming, right? Like the Katarina scarabs are might as well not exist. Like, what is the point of them? And I'm not even calling for this to be nerfed because I think this is completely fine. I think scarabs should be super accessible. And I think Betrayal should provide a bunch more access to it. The way I would solve it is either increase the number of scarabs by like 3 times, 4 times, or make it so you can guarantee the rare version of the scarab. In Betrayal, the way we used to have it with Winked and like Gilded before. And that would fix a lot of the issues with all the members feeling irrelevant. And the only thing uh, mattering is how fast you spawn Katarina. It just feels like bad gameplay, honestly. Like, what is the point of the system? At that point, just make them all question marks. I mean, maybe this is how Betrayal should be. Just make them all question marks and it doesn't matter what you do. And that's kind of how you have to look at it if you try to be efficient with Betrayal. But even if you don't care about efficiency, it feels like none of it that you do actually matters. At least in Trade League. Maybe in SSF you can make an argument that it matters, but I feel like even... Even let's say I'm trying to target farm ambush scarabs. I'm pretty sure I will get more ambush scarabs by running tier 17 maps or even tier 16 maps and uh, killing monsters than targeting it in betrayal. I feel like I got more scarabs just running maps to spawn Katarina than actually doing the safe houses and killing Katarina. I think the scarab rework was in my eyes a huge success. I know that not everyone will agree, but I think the whole betrayal being a source of scarab is just kind of gone. Honestly, and I feel like it's sad because that was like the main selling point of Betrayal for me in the past and that's what I used to farm it for a lot. The other rewards in Betrayal, there is Gravishes in Transportation that I value. It gives a full set of diff cards and it's weighted pretty well. So most of the time you get nothing, but sometimes you get something actually really cool. So I do still try to aim for that if I can, but that's literally the only member and house combination I care about. And it's just sad. We used to have like Hillock, uh weapon armor and plus quality and uh, those got removed because of uh, some weird change that i don't really understand what was the point of we could have still had the val change while hillock was given quality because we could have been valing them from 28 to 38 right so it just feels pointless to, to change it this way in my opinion vorichi used to give vice sockets now i don't know what he gives no one probably knows because it's not worth mentioning but he could have been giving Orbs of Blanching or whatever they are, Omen of Blanching. Uh, I mean, they're available in Ritual, but uh, it just feels weird that they removed it from Betrayal with giving nothing for it. Uh, Tora XP. Why is it Bench XP without it being like a facetted lens? That would be such an easy solution to make it actually useful. And like, yeah, I know I can buy my own Enlightened Empower and level it or whatever. But it just feels like I can't be bothered doing that. 
and I just don't use the Taurus. Why is it not changed to a system we already have in the game? And it is my problem that I'm lazy about it, but it just feels like it would be such an easy fix to do. So it feels a bit bad that they decided not to change that. But in general, the main problem with Betrayal is that it just comes down to how fast you can spawn Katarina and nothing else matters. Technically, looting safe houses is a waste of time. I would probably be making more currency per hour if I stop looting safe houses and I stop looking, looting Katarina after I kill her. Just check if she drops well orb. If yes, loot it, good. If no, complain, go next. Like realistically speaking, I don't care about currency, so I still loot the safe houses and stuff because I find that is the desired gameplay. And for me, it's fine to click, click the chests and whatnot. But the fact that I feel like that is inefficient gameplay just kind of speaks for how bad Betrayal actually is. And uh, I wish something was done about it. Again, I feel like the number of Scarabs needs to be either triplet, quadruplet, or they need to make it so you get a guaranteed Scarab of higher rarity. And so, so what that it will be OP with Diff Card Scarabs? Like, maybe you shouldn't have made the Diff Card Scarabs so OP. And uh, just deal with it. I mean, just make them, just balance the scarabs later or something. I don't know. I don't care. But I feel like scarabs should be available. I don't think they should nerf the availability of scarabs. I don't think everything should be brought to the level of betrayal. Rather than betrayal should be brought to the level of other mechanics when it comes to farming scarabs. It is really weird that I can just run maps and get more scarabs while farming betrayal rather than actual betrayal itself and maybe that's just me being old-fashioned and thinking uh betrayal is connected with scarves but if it's not connected to with scarves what is it connected to it literally only has velorb that's it after that nothing else matters there anymore so that just feels bad and i wish they changed that speaking of scarves i want to talk quickly about the betrayal scarves this is the setup i've been using it feels like you don't really have an option this scarf just feels worthless because when you are Running Betrayal, you want a lot of the Betrayal nodes, and yeah, you could save like 10 points on your tree if you use that Scarab, but I don't think that's worth it. And you already have 100% chance to spawn Betrayal. So the way I would change this Scarab is, instead of 3 Betrayal houses per map, it would spawn all 4, it would spawn both Transportation and Fortification, and that gives this Scarab a reason to be run. Uh, this is a good Scarab, limited to 1, you just put it in. This is a good Scarab, limited to 1, you just put it in. Uh, I think this is worth putting into the map device. But honestly, if I just skipped on these, it probably wouldn't change too much. It, do it does give you a decent amount of scarabs over long run, but uh, obviously you have to buy scarabs to do it. So it's like buy scarabs to get scarabs. So you, you, get, you get more than you put in. I, I do run this. And this is like another example of this actually kind of gives you more <laughs> scarabs than the safe houses and Katarina herself, which is just another problem, right? Like every source of scarabs is better than betrayal which was the main source of scarabs before outside of like loot conversion which outside of affliction leak i don't think was that big compared to betrayal but yeah those are my main problems with betrayal honestly it's not even related to the veil orb unlike most people who probably hate that part the most i feel like the veil orb is fine it's fine that it mo was moved to katarina away from ashling because that was a huge barrier to entry for someone who was new to Betrayal and it was like the most uh, valuable reward by far. But what I don't like about the new Betrayal is that everything else feels meaningless. Everything else is like actually not really worth clicking if you try to be efficient. And I don't think that is a good state for Betrayal to be in. But that is the end of my rant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you stay through this video. And let's hope that Betrayal gets changed again next week to do something better than it what it is now. Again. I just want to mention one more time, it's not really about currency per hour. Like, Veil Orbs are gonna go up and the currency per hour in Betrayal is gonna be fine. They were like 6.4 diff yesterday, they show like 8 diff now. Like, the, the currency per hour for Betrayal is gonna go up and up and up. Especially since you you can spawn Katarina's quite fast, if you try to be efficient you will get like 4 an hour, let's say. Maybe you can get 5, but that that's like being pushing it a little far, like you actually have to be like a giga efficient player at that point. But uh, let's say you drop one veil orb per hour. Like the 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 currency value you get from betrayal is not that bad. Just the the way you get it feels bad, and it feels meaningless to do anything but just kill Katarina, leave, kill Katarina, leave, kill Katarina, leave. Don't care about your safe houses. Don't care about your Katarina like actual loot. It's just it's just sad. I, I it was a pretty good mechanic. It was overcomplicated in a way where the best reward was kind of hidden. But I feel like removing all the mid-tier rewards just makes it feel meaningless. Again, let me know in the comments if you feel different. 
please tell me if there is any member slash house combination i should actually start farming because right now i'm feeling in pretty big despair when it comes to betrayal i'll give it one more day i don't expect it to change on a slip but i bought more scarabs so i will give it one more day and uh see how i like it hopefully i get lucky on bell orbs and i will see you guys next time bye everyone have a good day